Hey, what's up, everybody? Dorn Aldana here coming at you with another kick-ass episode of the Art of Mortgage Marketing podcast. And today we're going to talk about three killer strategies for winning more deals in this crazy seller's market. Now, chances are you're feeling the heat on a variety of fronts. Rates are going up. Uh, margin compression, people are more price sensitive, rate conscious than obviously two months ago, six months ago. Chances are you're noticing that uh, it's a little bit more challenging to get as high a conversion on your leads as you used to. Chances are you're having a hard time with inventory because inventory are, is still crazy low, which means you're having to generate more pre-approvals just to get one under contract. I imagine if you're anything like most of my clients, that's a frustration point for you uh, where you're having to work longer and harder for less. Chances are you're trying to get after these realtors. A lot of them aren't giving you the time of day because you know they're getting pounded by loan officers left, right, and center as everyone comes out from underneath their refi rocks clamoring after the same realtors. You're now just one of many who are stampeding after the uh, realtors trying to get their business. And on top of that, uh, chances are, if you've been relying on refi revenue over the last couple of years in this crazy refi boom, the mortgage gold rush, really, of the last decade or so, uh, you're noticing that you're hitting the point of diminishing returns with your refi revenue. And that can be uh, rather concerning if you don't have a backup plan. If you have been relying on 60, 70, 80 percent plus of your revenue on refi revenue and all of a sudden now you're stuck looking at your dwindling pipeline and you're sitting on a one-legged stool with a big chunk of your income that you've been relying on in the refi market that can be scary as shit so i can appreciate uh, why you'd be listening to this watching this to find better ways to grow your business that's more sustainable and more reliable and more peace of mind inducing. We want to build a rock solid recession proof business so you don't give a rat's ass what's going on with the market, with rates, with inventory, because you're so well diversified that you're least and last affected by market downturns versus first and most. If you don't feel that way now, we need to get you out of building your house on quicksand and get you building on solid rock. And that's precisely what we're gonna be talking about today. So that being said, let's dive in, shall we? The first killer strategy for winning more deals in a crazy seller's market is don't just get pre-approvals. Don't just get your clients equipped to start shopping, but get them, get them shopping with a winning strategy, which means get them and give them a strategy for getting under contract. It's not about being just the highest bidder, it's about having a winning strategy. One of the things that we teach here on Planet Prosper at Mortgage Marketing Coach is a winning strategy to get your buyers under contract, even if they're not the highest bidder. There's lots of different factors involved in getting your buyer under contract with a multiple offer scenario, and it's not just the highest bidder. So one of the things that we teach is the importance of reaching out to the listing agent every single time in a timely fashion that your buyer makes an offer, even preemptively prior to making the offer to be the advocate of the buyer and of course the buyer's agent and speak to the listing agent about the merits of the buyer. The fact that they love the, they love the property, the reason or their motivation behind, you know, why it's uh, a property that they're absolutely in love with and would love to be uh, the new owners of. Uh, the fact that they've got uh, great credit, the fact that they've got a, a, a good chunk of money down, the fact that they've got ironclad fin financing in place, the fact that they're willing to waive the inspection, the appraisal. Uh, et cetera, et cetera. And of course, you want to make sure that you speak with the buyer in advance of even making any kind of offers in, in advance of even shopping and strategically make sure their pre-approval is also taking into account over asking price. So if they're pre-approved for 400 and most of the offers on a $400,000 property are going to be at 450, 475 or whatever, and their limit is 400, that's not going to bode well. So if they want to get an accepted offer, 
on a, you know, an actual sale price of 400, they probably need to be searching closer to 350, 375 or whatever. You get the idea in terms of the percentage. They need to be strategically guided to be effective in this crazy seller's market. They need to be strategically led into the importance of actually having a battle plan to not just make offers, but get an accepted offer. So you need to be a key part of that strategy and it's not enough just to get them pre-approved. You know that, I know that. Anyone who's been in the game for the last six to 12 months knows that to be true, even longer. It's really been this crazy for the last year or so. So that's mission critical number one. Don't just get your buyers pre-approved. Give them a winning strategy, a pre-approval with a persuasive personality. That would be you. And of course, not only are your buyers going to love this, but also your buyer's agents and the listing agents love it as well. So this is going to absolutely make you stand up from the pack. It's going to absolutely give you a unique selling proposition, and it's going to absolutely get you more five-star reviews, more deals under contract, and more potential referral partners by virtue of the professionalism and the first-class, world-class service you're delivering. So that's the first step in the process. Killer strategy number one. Make sure you don't just get pre-approvals. Make sure you're giving them a winning strategy to get under contract. Now, the next killer strategy, killer strategy number two, is build your dream team of top producing realtor partners. So there's lots of different ways to skin the cat when it comes to getting partners and getting referrals and getting new business in the door. But in this crazy seller's market, we can't afford to be just relying on a few partners. We really need to build stability through diversification. Because as you know, you can have a bunch of people out there you know, making offers. That doesn't necessarily mean you're getting under contract. So we need to hedge our bets by building a well-diversified dream team. Now, you could go after the you know, bottom feeding, whining, selling, complaining, jelly, donut eating, low producers who do two or three deals a year. and if you get 40 or 50 or 100 of those, that'll amount to something. But if you don't want to be herding cats and uh, changing a bunch of diapers with low producers, you may consider a much more strategic way about going about it. And that is going after the top producers. And that's what we're all about here on Planet Prosper, going after the top producers, because we're all about going narrow, deep and rich with just a few solid rock star partners than going shallow, wide and skimpy with a bunch of drama queens, prima donnas, or a bunch of nimwits that don't know how to do their business and don't know how to bring in business. So it's about going narrow, deep and rich with just a few solid, really quality partners. Now you might be thinking, Doran, those top producers, they already have a lender. They're already married to their lender. They're already loyal to somebody. That's going to be a hard egg to crack. I can appreciate that. You may also be thinking, Doran, I don't have the gumption. I don't have the brass balls. I don't have the swagger factor. I don't have the value proposition to talk to, talk to those top producers. I'm a newbie or I'm a veteran, but I just got the same thing everyone else offers. Great rates and great service. What am I going to offer that no one else offers? Well, that's a very good question and a very valid concern. And believe it or not, all of those concerns and questions are a big reason why smart, ambitious, growth-minded mortgage professionals hire us at Mortgage Marketing Coach because that is not an easy code to crack. You know, Most people stay stuck in the cul-de-sac of conundrum, the prison of puzzlement, and they never figure out how to crack that code. Even after being in the game for decades, it's not an easy code to crack. You can't just watch a free YouTube video, listen to a free podcast, or read a free blog and figure that out because, again, it's not an easy code to crack, which is why we've been in the business coaching mortgage pros for 17 years. That's all we've been doing for 17 years. And you'd have to be a complete numb nut after 17 years not to have the secrets reveal to you over time just by virtue of, you know, having too much grit to quit and resiliently, persistently, consistently prying open the vault and figuring it out. So that's what we've been doing for 17 years. One of the things that we found really effective when it comes to attracting top producing realtors, and number one, you need to target them effectively. We have a really wicked effective uh, system for doing rapid fire realtor reconnaissance that allows you to not only target the best top producing realtors that are doing the most buyer side and listing side transactions in any market in the US, for those of you in the US, in Canada, unfortunately, it's not as easy 
easy. We got to do more of a blind method just by going after people who have great ratings on Google, for example. But in the US, we have a very powerful laser targeted method to reach out to only the most successful realtors. And the other cool thing is you can see if they, number one, are doing buyer side transactions, how many buyer sides. You can also see how many listing sides. You can also see if they have a preferred lender. Are they referring someone or are they just leave it to happenstance? And if they're leaving it to happenstance, they're leaving a lot of locus of control. They're leaving a lot of locus of control on the table. And that means that chances are they have deals imploding at the 11th hour due to financing falling through because they have all kinds of different lending going on on every transaction they're doing from Quicken to Bank of America to Wells Fargo you know, to rocket mortgage, you name it. I mean, it's just like, they're leaving it all to happenstance. So that means they have less control over the quality of the transaction. And that means they need a mortgage professional like you in their corner to help them gain more control over the quality of the transaction, get more repeat and referral business, more rave reviews, and to be able to have more certainty so they can sleep well at night, every night, knowing their commission is locked in. Can you see the value in that, right? So there's that piece, but we don't want to come across with that as the overture because they're not going to give you the time of day because everyone basically says we offer great rates and great service. That doesn't make you stand up from the clutter one iota. And you already know that to be true. So number one, we need a list of top producers. I'd say 50 to 100 top producers. And again, we have this rapid fire realtor reconnaissance system to help you do that. The next step is we need a system to get them uh, pre-sold and, and pre-cooked and pre-tenderized and hot for what you got and predisposed to want to speak with you and meet with you before you even talk to them, before you reach out to them by phone. How do you do that? We have a system called the Realtor Attraction System. It sends out the words that work that get some hot for what you got. So they're, again, receptive to having a conversation before you even talk to them. And ideally, to have them even to the point where they're calling you up saying, hey, I'm open to talk. Let's let's have a chat. How cool would that be versus cold calling the same 40 freaking realtors every Monday like so many so-called mortgage marketing coaches are training mortgage professionals to do nowadays or, you know, doing the same old song and dance, great rates, great service. That is not going to cut it, especially in this crazy seller's market where everyone's, you know, clamoring after the same uh, realtors because rates are going up. You know, inflation is going up and uh, the refi boom is drying up and all these refi crabs are crawl crawling out from underneath their refi rocks and they're all clamoring after the same realtors. So there's a stampede of loan officers clamoring after the same limited number of realtors. And, you know, a year ago, you guys weren't giving them a time of day. You were too fat and happy eating all that low hanging fruit and refis. And now everyone and their dog is chasing after the realtors. So realtors are jaded. Uh, they're sick and tired of the same song and dance, great rate, great service. So if you don't have a kick-ass value proposition, you're going to get your ass kicked. You're going to get the door slammed in, the, in your proverbial face, and it's not going to bode well. And you may already know that to be true intimately. Right? If you've been trying it over the last few weeks or months, chances are it's uh, not been an easy feat for you to get traction. You may be able to get conversations, but there's a big difference between getting conversations and actually getting solid partnerships that give you closed deals, right? Big difference. So how do we do that? We got to do it in a way that allows you to, as Dean Jackson uh, made famous, only give the cheese, but no whiskers. You know, talking about the metaphor of trying to attract a mouse, right? If you want to catch a mouse, you only want to give them the cheese, but no whiskers. Because they know that something with whiskers wants to eat them for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, right? So we just want to give them the cheese that which they want, that which they're uh, excited about, something that's compelling to them. Give them what they want, which is the cheese, but remove the whiskers. What's the whiskers, Dorn? I'm glad you asked. The whiskers is anything that turns them off, that gives them an impression that either they don't need it, don't want it, irrelevant, their company already offers it, it's too expensive, they've tried it before, it didn't work, anything like that and you're giving them whiskers. So you gotta give them just cheese, no whiskers. So what that's really about is pushing the hot buttons that are the perennial hot buttons for pretty much any top producing realtor. Frankly, even low producing realtors, it'll be a hot button for, but especially for the top producers because they're ambitious, they're movers, they're shakers, they're moving forward fast and they, they're all about these hot buttons. So what are the hot buttons? Well, grab your pen and paper, make sure you jot these down. 
The first hot button, of course, in the crazy seller's market is listings. If you can help them get listings, they're going to be all about it. Now, you might be saying, but Dorn, I don't know how to get listings. I'm a newbie. I'm a veteran. I don't know how to get listings. That's cool. But do you ever have buyers or sellers coming to you who need a top-notch agent? If that's the case, that's all you need is a value proposition. Highly qualified buyers and sellers. You're not giving any promises of how many of them you're giving or how often you're giving them or when you'll give them. But buyers and sellers... They're all about buyers and sellers, especially sellers right now. That's where the money is. The other thing too, is they want to earn more while working less. They want to close more deals with more certainty, more confidence, more peace of mind. They want to put more zeros and commas in their bank account while working less hours, right? They want more certainty that their commission is locked in, more peace of mind. But at the end of the day, you're not going to come across from a standing start and offer that stuff because frankly, they're going to see right through it and they're going to feel that there's just some, there's got to be a catch. There's some kind of BS, you know, uh, thing behind the scenes that you know, there's some kind of hook, some kind of catch, and they're going to get turned off. They're going to feel that there is a catch such that it feels like it's whiskers. We got to remove those whiskers. So what we like to do here on Planet Prosper is make it as compelling as possible, as simple as possible, as concise as possible, and as vague as possible. How do you do that, Dorn? Well, that's exactly what we teach in our program. But the essence is, hey, Tom, this is Dorn Aldana calling from ABC Mortgage. We've been corresponding by text. And uh, I figured it'd be easy for us to just to connect on the phone for a brief moment. I'm actually looking for a top-notch realtor to send my buyers and sellers to. And I'm just curious. I see you're doing some great things. I'm just curious. Do you have capacity to handle more buyers and more sellers right now? Oh, you do? Okay, cool. If that's the case, let's get together face-to-face -face or through Zoom, whatever your preference is. We'll lift up the hood in your business. We'll look at what's working, what's not working, where you're at now, where you want to take your business. And if we can help you create a breakthrough in your business by virtue of my VIP partnership program, then I'll show you what that looks like and see if perhaps we're the right fit. If not, frankly, I'll be the very first person to advise you to pass on our services. But either way, Tom, my goal for you is you'll leave this meeting with massive value, massive clarity. Chances are we're going to have some fun. Does that sound fair enough? Notice how that's all cheese, no whiskers. I'm not giving them any information about marketing programs, shit leads off Facebook, shit leads off Zillow. I'm not giving them any uh, inference that there's tools that are the same tools they're already getting from their brokerage. That would be all whiskers. I don't want to give them whiskers. I want to give them cheese. So that's how we're going to build that dream team. But it's not enough to just have meetings with realtors. We need to convert those meetings into partnerships. How do you do that? We use the Socratic method. We use the diagnose first, prescribe second, ask good quality, intelligent, strategic questions, uncover the pain points, challenges, what keeps them up at night, where their marketing engines losing steam, where they're leaving money on the table to their competitors. And then we teach them the secret sauce on how to plug up those holes in their marketing buckets so they can earn more while working less, so they can get more buyers, more sellers, so they can earn more while working less. Notice the theme, it's all cheese, no whiskers, right? But we need to be able to get them connected to the problem before they're going to be chomping at the bit for the solution. If they don't buy the problem, they're not going to buy the solution. So that's why we diagnose first, then we'll prescribe a solution second. By virtue of doing that and getting them connected to all the money they're leaving on the table that are competitors, all the areas where their marketing engines losing steam, all the areas where they're you know, leaving opportunity on the table. And then once they get connected to that, there's a cognitive dissonance. There's a pain point that now they want to solve. There's an open loop. Their cognitive dissonance has them feel like, man, I need to fix that. I need to fix that problem. It might not have even been on the radar before, but now it's on their radar, right? You're shining the light on it. You're getting them connected to it. And then and only then are they going to be chomping at the bit to get that solution. And that's a big reason, again, why smart, ambitious, growth-minded mortgage professionals hire us at Mortgage Marketing Coach is the secret sauce on how to deliver real-world, tangible, kick-ass tools, systems, resources, templates, et cetera, to fill those holes in their marketing buckets. You don't have to try and re reinvent the wheel. You don't have to try and be a marketing expert. You just lean on our proven systems, our marketing expertise, our marketing genius. That way you can just do what you do best and get the best to do all the rest. That's a way faster way to propel yourself to upper echelon income, freedom money, so you can be thriving while everyone else is struggling to be surviving 
uh, by virtue of you know having a plug and play turnkey system instead of trying to reinvent the wheel, throwing yoga to the fan, hoping something sticks. That's a very long, slow grind up up the mountain. And obviously, you already know that to be true. You're intel you're intelligent enough to know, I'm sure, that it's going to be a whole lot more expensive to learn from your own mistakes than to learn from an expert with a proven plan. So you can just go straight to what works. I liken it to two options to get to where you want to be. One is you climb up a 20 story staircase with a 50 pound backpack, busting your buns, sweating your bag off, doing it the hard way. Or you just press the P button on the elevator and go straight to making prosperity money, penthouse money. Which would you prefer? That's the no brainer of the year, right? Obviously the elevator. So building a dream team of top producing realtors is all about going narrow, deep and rich with just a few solid partners instead of shallow, skimpy and wide with a bunch of chumps we want to work with champs, not chumps. We want to work with the winners, not the whiners. And that's precisely how we do it. We diagnose first, we prescribe second, and we make it exclusive so that we pick and choose who we work with. We pick and choose who we give our gift to. We pick and choose who has the privilege to work with us. We flip the script so that the realtor needs you more than you need them. How cool would that be to be in that kind of power position where you become irreplaceable and indispensable as an asset on their team instead of just another replaceable cog in the proverbial wheel as just another average Joe L.O., right? That's impotence. If you're just an average Joe L.O., you got nothing and you're kissing ass and you're chasing and you're groveling and you're begging and you're bribing. That sucks. That's a powerless situation. We want you to become powerful. But when you build a dream team of seven to 12 top producing, easy for me to say, top producing realtors who are sending you one, two, three plus deals a month, do the math on that. At 3K, 4K, 5K a pop, that adds up pretty quick. That gets you making surgeon money, freedom money, liberate your spouse money, do what you want, when you want, with whom you want, anytime you want money, write big checks to worthy causes money, get a second home in the tropics with an ocean view money. I mean, the sky's the limit, right? When you have 10, seven to 12 rock star top producing realtors sending you one, two, three deals a month, the sky is the limit. And notice the elegant simplicity of it. You don't need to be doing a bunch of backflips. You don't need to be sifting through a bunch of gravel just to find a few gold nuggets. You don't have to waste your time with a bunch of shit leads off the internet. You don't have to waste your time with a bunch of crappy leads from Zillow. You don't have to waste your time with a bunch of refi leads or purchase leads that don't know you from a hole in the wall where you have to sift through mountains of them just to close one deal. That's doing it the hard way. We're talking by referral only. All these realtors are hot for what you got and the partners send you borrowers who are hot for what you got. And so they come to you through the power of third party endorsement, right? So the realtor tells the client jump and the client says how high, like we're talking about influence, right? Just like with Oprah Winfrey with her book club, she endorses a book. What happens to the sale of that book? Through the freaking roof, right? Why? power of third party endorsement. And that's the same power you're gonna be leveraging in your own business, in the purchase market with the best caliber, best quality, most qualified purchase borrowers who are ready to buy now, not someday, who are qualified, who have the credit, who have the down payment, who have the income, who have the DTI to get the deal done now, not someday. That's what I'm talking about. Again, that's working smart, not just working hard. The third killer strategy for winning in a crazy seller's market is helping your realtors get more listings. We kind of alluded that to that before. We need strategies to actually help them grow their business, not just being loan leeches, not just being mortgage parasites, not just attaching to them to leech their business and their clients, but to expand the pie. We're not just trying to take a piece of the pie. We're trying to expand the pie. We're not just trying. We are. We're flying. We're not trying. We're flying. We're helping them actually grow their business. And to do that, we need winning strategies. So at Mortgage Marketing Coach, we've got a full quiver of kick-ass, wicked-ass systems, tools, templates, and campaigns to help them do exactly that. And the cool thing is, in the land of the blind, the one-eyed man is king. It doesn't take much to stand out when you think about your competitors are doing jack diddly squat when it comes to adding unique value. All they're doing is offering great rates and great service, throw me a bone. 
All they're being is lone leeches. They're not doing anything unique, nothing compelling, nothing outside the box. So when you show up zigging while everyone else is zagging, that's going to get these realtors standing to attention. When you bring the cheese without the whiskers, that's going to get these realtors standing to attention. And we've got some wicked tools to help them get those listings, to help them you know, be in front of their target market more effectively, more efficiently, so they're winning the listing versus their competitor. And the cool thing is, if all you did is just get them an extra deal every few months or once a year, that's light years ahead of any year of your competitors. Just the initiative to bring that kind of value, just the idea to bring that kind of value gets you standing out from the clutter. So that's, again, another big reason why people work with us because they don't want to have to try and re reinvent the wheel, trying to figure out, okay, how do I help my realtors grow their business? How do I help them close more deals with less effort? How do I help them win in this crazy seller's market? How do I help them get more listings? How do I help them get the more buyers? How do I help them promote? If you don't know how to do that, the, the chance of you learning how to do that on your own, is going to be a very slow grind up the mountain, right? That's like watching paint dry. Good luck with that one. As Dr. Phil would say, how's that working for you so far, right? Chances are not great because again, you got so much else going on, right? You've got deals in the pipeline. You've got clients to speak with. You've got partners to speak with. You've got title companies to work with and appraisal people and, and inspectors to work with and lenders and, and all the milestones and uh, going from application to CTC. I mean, there's just so much going on there. You're already managing so much minutia. You don't have the time, the bandwidth, probably not even the desire to learn all the minutia around all these advanced marketing tactics, tactics and strategies. And that's again, why people come to us so they don't have to mess around. They can just do what they do best meeting with clients, cashing checks, and get the best to do all the rest. So if that's you and you're 100% commission mortgage professional, you're making 85 basis points or higher on your comp plan, and you're wanting to take your business to the next level, working smarter, not harder, and you're wanting to at least double your income or at least add an extra $100,000, $200,000 plus to your annual income, and you're wanting to penetrate the purchase market more powerfully and more proficiently than you are right now, and you're wanting to have a mentor in your corner, corner to give you the recipe, the blueprint, the formula, the proven plan to be able to propel higher, faster, easier than messing around doing it the hard way, then I invite you to book a complimentary breakthrough call at mortgagemarketingcoach.com forward slash apply. On this call, we're just going to have an honest conversation, either with myself or one of my consultants. We will lift up the hood on your business. This is going to sound familiar because it's a very similar value proposition to what I'm teaching you to do with your realtors. We're going to lift up the hood on your business. We're going to look at what's working, what's not working. Where are you at now? Where do you want to be? And if we can help you create a breakthrough in your business, by all means, we'll show you what that looks like inside of our proven system. If not, frankly, we'll be the first to advise you to pass on our services. Either way, though, you will leave that call with massive value, massive clarity, and Chances are we're going to have some fun. Unless you're really boring, then we won't. <laughs> but if you're cool cat like I think you are, if you're watching this or listening to this, chances are it's going to be a very meaningful conversation. We're going to shine the light of truth on your situation. We're going to have a real talk about what it's really going to take to get you from where you are to where you want to be. And you're going to leave with massive clarity. Chances are the most clarity you've had in a 60-minute conversation in a very, very long time, if not bar none. So if that sounds meaningful and worthwhile to you, go ahead and book the call at mortgagemarketingcoach.com forward slash apply. And just to keep it real with you, this is not a sales call because if we have to sell you on making freedom money, you're not ready to make freedom money. So we're not here to sell you, we're here to serve you. And that really starts with giving you clarity, shining the light of truth in your situation to give you clarity. And then if, and only if we're 100% certain we can help you, we will show you the pathway to the promised land. We will show you how to take your business from where you are to where you want to be. But this is not about a high pressure sales call. This is not about cajoling you, selling you, persuading you, because if we have to persuade you to make freedom money, you're not ready to make freedom money. So I just want to be very clear about that because some people get it twisted. Oh, I don't want to reach out. I don't want to book a call because I don't want to talk to some slime bag salesperson. That's not what this call is about. We're your advocate. We're your champion. We're just here to shine the light of truth to see if we can help you. So if that sounds cool, which I can't imagine why I wouldn't, go ahead and book a call at mortgagemarketingcoach.com forward slash apply.
My name is Doran Aldana, coming at you from the Art of Mortgage Marketing Podcast. Thanks for listening. I trust you got some insights, some value, some distinctions. Now go forth, take massive action. Chances are you're going to get massive results. We'll talk soon. Peace.